Hello everyone and welcome to the April Community Call recording for the WITNET community. Thank you everyone for joining this uh, recording. We're going to be covering everything that happened in the month of April and some super exciting announcements that we have coming in May. This is a great month for WITNET, the WITCOIN, and all of our partners that are supporting WITNET and we're supporting. As we continue our new, new and improved method for community calls, please remember that uh, we usually do the actual community calls towards the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. And there's always a written up blog post on our Medium that you can find at medium.com slash WITNET. We are overjoyed with the month of, that we had in April. And we're like I said, we're super excited about May, which you're going to hear about a little bit later on. Um, and if you stay tuned throughout the entire video, it should be a quick one. You'll be able to catch a uh, sneak peek at the Light Wallet that is also going to be released in the month of May. So without further ado, let's get started. At the time of this recording, Witnet is securing $240 million across 24 EVM compatible chains. This makes Witnet the sixth, seventh, or eighth largest Oracle, depending on the day that you check DeFi Llama, as the asset prices can be a little volatile and uh, Oracles are not um, unique to volatility based on the value they secure. But this also puts Witnet as the third, general, third largest generalistic oracle when you exclude projects like Winklink, Time Weighted Average Price, and MakerDAO's Oracle. They all uh, only secure one protocol or have a specific use case, and they're not really considered oracles. So when you take those out, Witnet is technically third. So with that being said, let's move into one of the most important announcements we made in April, and that was Witnet surpassed band in total value secured on DeFi Llama. This was on eight, April 18th, 2023, and we uh, surpassed them when we secured over $360 million worth of value. Uh, while Witnet might not have stayed there uh, continuously, it's important because it brings a lot of attention and legitimacy to Witnet, to everyone around the Web3 ecosystem. People see announcements like this and they begin to research more into WITNET and they see everything that we've built over the last year and uh, since the protocol launched. This is a huge feat. Congratulations to all the developers using WITNET. Node operators are supporting the network and community members that have been with us uh, since the beginning. Um, at the time of the community call and around this recording, we're about $200 million uh, from crossing Pyth, which is the second largest uh, true oracle that's listed on DeFi Llama. So that's super exciting and we're really gunning for that spot. Of course, we want to get to uh, 1 billion, hopefully within the year, but we'll see how that plays out. Next up, we have newly added, or excuse me, the Light Wallet name. So the official name that we decided on based on the submissions from you guys in the community was My Wit Wallet. Thank you for everyone su for uh, submitting a name. And the winner got 20,000 Wit, which was actually paid out uh, today prior to this recording. The transaction hash is uh, available on our uh, Twitter account and in the blog post that we uh, shared today. Of course, I will also link in the description below. Next up, newly added chains. These are chains that we recently launched on in the month of April. Number one, Elastos. Uh, we officially launched on Elastos mainnet as we can continue finding new and exciting chains to partner with. In the case of Elastos, they came to us asking for secure price feeds that cannot be manipulated so that uh, we can support the developers on their chain, building more complex financial products for their end users. Elastos, of course, is a more uh, robust ecosystem as it moves beyond just smart contracts. It's a, it's a suite of products tailored to a lot of decentralized tools like decentralized identifiers, decentralized streaming, decentralized social networking, of course, DeFi, and various types of authentic, uh, authentication. Uh, of course, it gains its security from being merge mined with Bitcoin, which is very exciting. Uh, it's going to get security for price feeds from Witnet and merge mined with Bitcoin, which is amazing. This is our second merge mine chain with Syscoin being the first. We already expect a few users on the chain, which is uh, one. The first one is Filda, who asked for ELA, BTC, USDC, BUSD, ETH, HT, and BNB to US dollar price feeds on Elastos and a few more on Kava, which we'll get into a little bit later. Next up is Polygon ZK EVM. Polygon, uh, Polygon ZK EVM is a very exciting chain that recently launched, I believe in the month of April. Um, we're one of the first oracles to go live on this uh, layer two. And at this point, 
we have uh, one user that's considering WitNet for their oracles or their fallback oracles, but we don't want to jump the gun, so we're going to uh, announce that later on when it's a little bit more set in stone. Next up is uh, our funded grants. The total amount that we have agreed to fund for various projects is $41,032.60. Um, about 60% of that number is already funded, and that means 40% we have uh, agreed to fund on a milestone basis and we fund them uh, proactively as they hit those milestones. So we'll look into a few of these now, and of course next uh, community call we'll have a few more to showcase. So right now we're gonna go into Pocket Demons, which is um, a first of a kind NFT trading card game that's similar to Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, where it uh, allows players to duel against each other and winner takes the wagers that each player puts up. So as you can see in the picture, those are a few of uh, what the trading cards might look like. There are 666 different NFT cards that a player could get. And of course, the NFTs are using the WitNet randomness oracle to create unpredictable and random traits on the NFT that is then able to help determine who might win the uh, wager based on um, rarity points and uh, uh, like, I guess, power points or skill points of that NFT. Very cool game. Crow Draw is the first charity focused lottery on Kronos. These guys are building a very cool protocol that allows users to buy tickets in the daily drawing. 15% of the total tickets go to the Heart of Gold initiative that focuses on men's mental health in Web3, as suicide rates can be extraordinarily high in such a high-stakes industry. Crowdraw has seen an impressive launch. They launched a little over two weeks ago, and they're using the WitNet Randomness Oracle to choose a random number for the winner on any given day. Very exciting protocol. We're really happy to partner with charity-focused um, projects. If you guys remember our um, East Denver game where 50% of the total um, funds raised actually went to a charity. So we're very happy to partner with these guys as well. Next up, we have some upcoming protocols that will be listed out on our DeFi or DeFi Llama, excuse me, total value secured metrics. This really showcases the legitimacy of the WitNet Oracle, so we always love finding protocols that have been using WitNet in a permissionless way so that we can add them to our DeFi Llama. First up is Ultron Swap. WitNet was the first Oracle live on Ultron, and Ultron Swap is using WitNet for their ULX token, amongst a few others. Ultron Swap has a total value locked of 7 million and is expected to grow quickly, as it's one of the fastest growing proof of stake chains. Additionally, they're releasing a DeFi lending protocol that will use data, uh, WitNet data feeds. This will be coming in a uh, few months and we're excited to support them further. Next up, Annex Finance. It's, another, it's uh, another lending protocol on Kronos that has a total value locked of around 7 million. We know WitNet is being used for these feeds on Kava and we're getting uh, confirmation about their use on Kronos. Lastly is Filda. Filda is a unique lending protocol that's live on multiple chains, a few that WitNet is not live on but uh, we know that they're using WitNet on Kava and soon to be Elastos, which we just launched on and we talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, they asked for over 10 feeds. I went through a few of them on the Elastos uh, page and um, they use, I believe it's, excuse me, let me find it. USDC, USDT, DAI, all to um, USD pairs. So this actually puts Filda in the top uh, user of WitNet data feeds on any given uh, chain. So that's very exciting for them. We expect uh, their total value locked and usage to grow pretty quickly now that they have uh, now that people have access to uh, new new assets to deposit and provide liquidity for. Next up is my favorite one as the um, community manager is growth statistics. So community growth in the month of April. I like to showcase these to really talk about um, how quickly the community has grown in such a short period of time. It really makes me bullish, and I hope it makes you bullish as well. Discord has seen over 85 people join, and actually, um, at the time of this recording, it's more like, I want to say 100, which is really exciting. The total is now uh, 1,420. Um, that chart there on the left doesn't actually account for users who use um, open source tools to kind of mask their identity on Discord, uh, but we're aware of them actually joining our server. So that's pretty cool. Telegram has continued to grow up into the right, our member, uh, our member count is around 1,500. Twitter has seen over 1,000 followers in April with constant engagement, which is huge. Um, 
Please remember that engaging with our social medias, in our Discord, in our Telegram, on our Reddit, of course, Twitter, uh, those are huge um, factors that come into play when exchanges decide to list a new coin. They want to see an engaged and thriving community. So please continue to do what you're doing, engaging with our tweets, talking in Discord, saying GM, everything, um, everything helps. Thank you. Next up, the Witcoin volume. Witcoin volume, average daily volume change from March to April. It was 139,000 a day in March and it's up to 266,000 in April. So that's a, that marks a 90.16% increase in average daily volume, which is actually a great indicator of the strength of people finding the protocol, people using the protocol. Uh, these can be miners, node operators, uh, speculators, all this kind of stuff. <clears throat> so when you don't want to talk about price, it's great to talk about volume to see um, that the coin is maintaining a steady flow of capital. So that's a great one. Next up, we have a sneak peek at the light wallet. So we're really excited to show you the UI. Uh, when we get closer to the launch date, we'll talk about um, doing a, another call or a rundown on how to actually use the light wallet. It's really easy. No more long synchronizations. Um, it'll basically just sync to one node instantly and you'll be all set to go. So please remember that these pictures that I'm about to show you do not actually have the new My Wit Wallet logos or branding because uh, we have to make those changes, but it'll be ready. It probably is already ready by the time we're recording, but we had the community call on Monday, May 1st. So here, without further ado, we'll get into dark mode, initializing the wallet. You can see the welcome screen, create a new wallet or import your wallet. You can import it from Sheka. Um, wallet security, Dark mode, uh, private key management, where you'll get your um, secret recovery phrase if you did not import it. Of course, I had to bl um, block that off so nobody kind of steals my recovery phrase. And then secret recovery phrase confirmation. You know, you can't get to that screen unless you actually write down the 12 words and input them correctly. High security wallet, which is great. Next up, the home page, if you're locked out of the wallet, or if you haven't um, opened it for a little while, just have to input the password you created when you set up the wallet. And then the simple homepage, send, receive, and a few settings. As you can see, I made two transactions where I added 100 WIT from one of my Sheikah addresses. And then I sent 100, or actually I sent 50 WIT, but based on how the wallet operates and how WITnet uses a UTXO model, it sends the entire amount and then it sends you back some change. Similar to Bitcoin, of course. Next up, we have light mode, sending and receiving. You can see it's very easy. You just input the recipient address or open your camera and scan a QR code, add the amount, choose the minor fee and send it. It'll be on its way, sent to the network instantly. And then when you receive, as you know, like I said, Witnet is a UTXO based blockchain. So you have access to a few different uh, addresses that are generated based on your private keys. And as you can see uh, the bottom there, um, the 50 wit that I have in one of my change addresses. Next up, dark mode private key management again. You can export the XPRV of your wallet after importing your password that is uh, assigned to the um, private key. And then we also, you can of course choose light mode and dark mode. And that's the sneak peek of the light wallet. Now let's get into why May is such a huge month. Um, I can't even really talk, I can't really, uh, tell you how excited I am about these announcements that are going to be coming later in May. And here's why. We have a new exchange listing sometime in May, if not early June, depending on how, uh, how the exchange works on different things. Of course, when it's a layer one, so it's a little bit more complicated than integrating an ERC. Light wallet release also coming in May. That's a huge one. You guys have been asking that for, a, for that for a year. And it's finally here. Next up, we have massive massive protocol upgrade announcements. By the end of May, everything is going to begin changing. I can't even express how excited I am for, for you guys and for the Witnet team, all the work we've put in to really make these, make these happen. And last up, we will, are announcing the um, roadmap. We are coming out with a, an official roadmap that is going to detail the intricacies of what we're going to be trying to accomplish over the next <clears throat> months, quarters, and years. Super excited about everything that's coming down the road, and I, I, I truly can't express how excited I am. I mean, this is everything is going to look different in a May in May when we um, when we announce these upgrades. Um, 
I'm going to be doing a, a separate community call just to detail every single announcement. I'm going to be coming out with articles, videos, everything, uh, the whole nine yards. And um, it's going to really change how WitNet uh, operates without compromising security of its Oracle price feeds or data feeds or randomness, of course. Thank you, everyone, for um, tuning into this recording of the community call. Uh, like I said, we'll be doing a separate community call later in May to discuss uh, the specifics of everything, uh, all the announcements that I just mentioned. Um, sorry that it's the announcement of the announcement, but we're trying to be very careful and meticulous about how we bring this to the public as everything needs to be done in the correct manner. Uh, everybody, please keep engaging with our tweets, messaging in our Telegram. Use the phrase, real DeFi is built on WitNet. Use the the wit tag with the dollar sign and hashtag witnet. Like I said, community engagement is the number one thing, or one of the number one things exchanges look for. Thank you everyone for joining us. We hope to see you at the next community call.